High school is a place where almost everyone gets their future decided. I don't know where it gets the power from, but it kind of decides if you will be a thug, a CEO, or a slave of nine fives. I'm the latter. I went to a high school in Africa, and it was a boarding school, and it was crazy. It was probably fun for other students, but for me, it wasn't because I always fantasized about the high school experience as the best. I know what you might be thinking now. If I went to high school in a random country somewhere in Africa, then how is my experience going to help you? It must be different from what American and British or other country high schools are, right? First, not really. You see, I came to realize that all high schools have something in common. They are all hell on earth and only the strongest survive. I know, that's some Sherlock shit. But also, hey, I'm not here to help you. Who say that? To many people, high school is a frightening experience. Everyone is afraid of something in high school. For some, it's the fear of failing the sucking SATs. For others, it's the fear of bullies or not being able to find a date on the prom day or not being able to keep their popularity. And if you are in California, it's the fear of forgetting your bulletproof at home one day. In my country, boarding schools are very popular. I had my brothers who went to high school back then when I was still a kid, and they would come back home every once in three months, and they were the coolest people I had ever seen. As going to high school was a kind of privilege in my village, every dude wanted to be them, every chick wanted to be with them. Have you ever seen beautiful girls simping for regular solid six boys? Cause that's what was happening in front of me. I couldn't wait to get in high school. Time couldn't pass any slower. I waited forever. Time finally came, I packed my stuff, said bye to everyone, and I went to my boarding school. And you won't believe what I realized when I reached there. Everything was a lie. It was a myth. I couldn't believe it myself. You see, it doesn't matter if it's in the States, England, or on Mars. High school is boring. And they will pretend to be teaching you important life skills that you probably will never have to use in your future life. And they know it, they just don't care, as long as they get paid. But as a high school kid, you know better than losing your time focusing on that bullshit. Cause if you are not a nerd, chances are you are going to fail anyway. And you can just hope that your parents are understanding enough to blame it on the teachers. In all seriousness, classes in high school are long. Like, how can I have classes from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening with just 10 minutes between each 2 hours of class and only 1 hour of lunch break? And then you want me to stay quiet and focus? Focus! Man, I didn't sign up for this. I'm not here to suffer. And you are not my mom, so you can't tell me what to do. As a matter of fact, I'ma watch TikTok. No, I'm not even gonna watch TikTok. I'ma film it. Here, in the class. <clears throat> That's what I always wanted to tell my teachers, but you know, I was a big of pussy to do that. I was good at dodging questions though, which for some reasons made the fellow students think that I was smart because I could answer a question without answering the question. For instance, the teacher would be like, tell him boy, explain what is prime numbers. Um, before we establish the meaning of prime numbers, I want to remind you that numbers are not just arbitrary symbols we use for counting, but they represent something fundamental about the structure of reality itself. In other words, numbers are not just things we made up, they are woven into the fabric of the universe. And, um, prime numbers are incredibly fascinating topic that reveals some of the hidden structures and patterns of the universe. So, to understand what prime numbers are, we must first understand what they are not. Not. And the teacher would be like, shut up and sit down, Jordan Peterson. And the students would be like, wow, he's clever. Don't get me started with the homeworks. Come on, man. I don't know what gave the impression to the teachers, but what makes them think that anyone would enjoy staying up at night doing more work after the exhausting classes we had during the day? I wasn't even focusing when you were there, and you think I'm going to sit and focus on the homework? When would anyone get time to play video games, or practice his NPC skills, or do TikTok? I swear I'ma write a petition to the Chinese government that homework is keeping us from making TikTok. Maybe they can do something about it. And I'm a kid, man. I need extra hours to sleep. Not extra hours to do overtime. Overtimes are waiting for me in the near future anyway, so please let me enjoy this moment at least before I go to McDonald's. In all high schools, there is a social hierarchy. There is the rich, the cool, the nerds, the weirdos, the witch. So, regardless of who you are, you probably at some point need to change either your hair, your clothes, or your personality to fit in at least one social group. That's just how it is. I don't make the rules, man. Don't shoot the messenger. And there's a cherry on the top. There are SATs, as Americans used to call them. Matriculation exam if you are so European. I swear that someone who invented SATs was a child hater in a pro-choice disguise. I just can't prove it. Do you still think going to high school in Africa was any different than your experience? 
Bathrooms in high school sucks. I've heard stories of kids who would hold it until they get back home to avoid using the bathrooms at school. But you know what? I didn't have such luxury of holding it at home because I was in a boarding school. There was no home. School was my home. So I would close my eyes and nose, dive in quick, finish my business and run away as far as I could to the showers, I mean. And the girls... Well, I don't know, man. I was in a boys-only school, so go figure. Besides, I became a nerd, which you probably can't tell by the fact that I'm making YouTube videos. So I wasn't cool, which means no girls seemed for me when I got back to my village even. I was busy reading the R.L. Stein Goosebumps novels or American history. And I had to break it to you, but girls are not impressed by that type of shit. In conclusion, high school was... um, Well, you tell me. How was it?